Hello creative souls and welcome to my studio. Today I'll be trying out these new extra soft oil pastels for the first time. I'm going to swatch out the colours for you and then I'm going to do a quick and simple painting. So first of all I'm going to unbox these. I literally haven't even opened them yet so I need to take off the plastic. I'm not giving a tutorial today. I'm just sharing my process. This year I've decided that I'm going to be doing more of my sketchbook and so I wondered if these were going to be any good for giving me extra marks, extra texture on the page. But with these soft pastels the problem is that if when you do it in your sketchbook um, it can smudge. So I need to look at fixative as well um, or another artist has suggested putting some grease proof paper in between the pages so let's unbox these pastels I've always wanted to give them a go um, these are a cheaper brand because they are just for my sketchbook um, I think they're classed as a beginner's brand um, and depending on how I get on with them, if I use them at all, if I wanted to do a proper painting, you know, a more professional painting, then I may have to consider getting a brand like maybe Sennelier, because uh, I'm not sure on the light fastness on these. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. I do tend to get a lot of materials from Amazon. Um, I'm not affiliated with Amazon at all. Um, I'm just literally sharing what I enjoy using in the studio. Um, I've got some paper stumps here as well for blending and a tool here that you can use to make marks with. I understand that an old makeup sponge is good for blending and also cotton buds. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these lovely colours. There's a lot of colours here. I can't remember how many. 39 pieces. So let's dive straight in and test these out. To swatch my colours, I'm going to use Canson XL, which is actually a watercolour paper. But it's got a nice texture to it. Um, and I should be able to do some nice swatches on here. And it's a fairly inexpensive way of using paper to do my swatches and then I'm going to do um, a picture later on and I thought I'd use the Strathmore pastel paper and I'll probably try and find a darker colour possibly a brown colour just to make the colours pop on the page. That's all my colours swatched out. They're um, very different to anything I've used before. They're thick, they're creamy, and I just want to see how they blend now. So having never done this before, I'm going to uh, put some yellow down on the paper, I think, first of all. So there's a lovely vibrant yellow, that one is called yellow funnily enough and then i'm going to try some ultra marine blue and i'm going to go over the top and see if it's like blending watercolors and yeah it has it's it's given me a nice green and then I'm just going to take, uh, I'll just use my finger. Oh yeah, it feels like 
a soft wax crayon. There we go. Blending the yellow in with the blue and then going over the ultramarine. Oh, that blends in nicely. Okay, so I don't know. I don't think these are toxic. I'm assuming that children could use these, so. Let's try blending some different oranges. blends really nicely like I say this is the cheaper range I haven't got anything to compare it to but I think I would enjoy using them in my sketchbook because they're sticks quite stubby sticks you don't get the accuracy you would if you were drawing with pencil and I wonder what would happen if I was to go over the top with some white sort of try and make that look a bit more 3D. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is go on and find something to draw. I'm thinking along the lines of maybe a nice red mushroom. So I'm going to check out Pixabay to see if I can find a source photograph. And um, I'll do some artwork this afternoon and test these soft oil pastels out. I found a photograph on Pixabay of a fly agaric mushroom. I hope I've said that right. I don't normally say things right. But this is what it looks like. So this is what I'm going to draw on my Strathmore pastel paper. I can't credit the photographer because I can't seem to find the name. But like I say, it's on Pixabay and it is a free image. So in this Strath Strathmore pastel paper pad there's lots of different colours to choose from and I think this afternoon I'm going to go for uh, a mushroom colour. I think that's the colour I'm going to use. I'm sorry if you can hear my tummy rumbling. I've just
just been uh, eating some Ferrero Rocher that are left over from Christmas. And um, they're very Moorish and they're my favourite chocolate and I can't stop eating them. So they're not going to be around for much longer. Right, I'll probably speed this bit up. So I will uh, see you when I finished. Here's my finished piece. I quite enjoyed using them. I found them to be quite messy because I'm used to painting with watercolour and I'm used to detail. So it's really hard for me to loosen up and come away from having nice crisp edges. But they're brilliant colours, they're vibrant, they are soft and they are lovely to blend. I really enjoyed using them and I think I'll definitely be um, using them in the future and in my sketchbook. The only thing is in my sketchbook, I will have to think about how not to smudge the other pages because I have noticed that it's quite easy to smudge the surrounding paper. But overall, I love them. Thanks for watching.